here's our simple meal. We've got a half a frozen rotisserie chicken, jar of carrots, jar of potatoes. Watch the magic happen. People ask what I meant by church key. This is a church key. This is what I call a church key. Um, I'm going to dump the water from the carrots into this jar to go towards chicken soup because I'm going to be making chicken soup with all the bits from those rotisserie chickens. I'll put you in the fridge till we need you. Now this is my potatoes and I'm going to strain them into a different jar and I will use that water in my next batch of bread and I will show you how to do that if you like. I'm going to cut open our chicken. Now if you don't want to crock pot this we've got about two hours to supper and this on high because everything is actually cooked this should all be ready. Um, but you could you could leave that in the bag and boil bath that. Like put it into a, a pot of water. I'm going to add about I don't know, a couple of tablespoons of water and I'm going to put that chicken on high. Now I'm going to take this bowl, put some paper towel in it, excuse me, and I'm going to empty the potato. This is why I like large mouth jars for potatoes. My potatoes in there, and then the carrots, and we're just going to give them a coarse dry. We just want to, you don't want them dry, you just don't want, you don't want, you want the oil to stick to them. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to put on some olive oil. And some garlic powder and some parsley. Whoops, that's a lot of parsley. But it'll give them that oven roasted look. Salt and pepper. We don't have the time to give Grampus his onion because everything here is cooked and the onion would be raw. All right. And now we're just going to drop these in here. Try and uncover the chicken if you can. I guess this would be better with a bigger crock pot, but I don't have a bigger crock pot. So I guess the chicken's buried in the vegetables. Make sure we get our seasonings on here. And there we go. Supper in two hours. Okay. Howard is home. Ooh. Look at that. It smells so good. I got the leg last time, so Howard gets it this time. Lovely. Lovely. Mmm. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, where is the leg? Which one's the leg? That's the breast. So that's mine this time. And if we wanted to, we could make gravy with the juice in the bottom here. But we don't need it because it's all so wonderfully juicy. That's a lot. A couple of hours, guys, because everything was cooked, even though the chicken was frozen. Do you want dib dibs, Howard? Yes, uh, because everything was frozen. I'm going to give him the wing, too. Even though the chicken was frozen, everything was cooked. So just a couple of hours in the crock pot, and i got to show you. Look how juicy that chicken is. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. And Howard's going to want a slice of bread, so I'll be right back. Slice of bread. Fresh from the oven. Well, not fresh from the oven. It's cooled down. Homemade bread is a lovely rotisserie chicken dinner. What the hell am I eating now? It's rotisserie chicken and, and roast veg. All right. So what's the difference between tonight and the other night? It's from the crock pot. Oh. And that's homemade bread, too. So. That looks really nice. Yeah, wait till you taste it. Um, 
I'm gonna make it's gonna be soup tomorrow, so awesome. Thanks, honey. So rotisserie chicken works. Put it frozen right into the crock pot with some of your home canned seasoned veg. Boom. Supper in two hours. Doesn't get any better than that. And that whole meal didn't cost $5. So there you go. Take care. God bless.